Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Mess on African Motives, still working on mathematics and five level. So in our previous class, guys, if you still remember, we worked on the introduction uh, where I display the notes and some of the techniques that we had on uh, limits and continuity. So we shall have a continuation again working with the past examination papers that is revision as our second class so we shall see what's happening in this so guys not to miss any of our classes make sure that you become part of the family by subscribing uh so that you won't miss any any class that we shall have and uh not wasting much of your time let us quickly rush through the questions that i'm having from past exam papers uh we are given on question one which was actually question one determine lin y if uh, lin y is equivalent to the um, limit that is the limit that we have got here so guys as we know that uh, it's already a fraction and uh, all you need is to test when this is a zero here so this is actually going to give us a zero and uh, this will be an infinity because this will be sine sine three times zero is zero and lin zero is actually an infinity you can't simplify that one is something that is not exact so if it is something that is not exact like this so it means we have to apply our L hospital rule. I remember, guys, how you apply the L hospital rule. Where you have to find the derivatives of the given what of the given uh, fractions. That is the numerator and the denominator. So in the numerator, it's exact because this is just x, and you can just write it as what as one x. So this is lin y is equivalent to one over the derivative of one x is just one. All right, then what about lean sine 3x? How do you find the derivative of lean? Remember, guys, uh, uh, lean, if you are given a uh, lean f of uh, x like this, the derivative is just going to be the first derivative of the function that you have of x over that function of x. So in this case, we are referring to a uh, lean. Uh, it was lean sine 3x like this, guys. All right. So this is going to be first derivative of sine. Remember, it's going to be 3 cos 3x, all right? Everything over the function of x, which is sine 3x. So this is what you're actually going to have, uh, which is, we said, 3 cos 3x there. So it's cos 3x. And hey, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm actually forgetting to write the limit, okay? Remember, we've got our... Our limit guys okay don't freak out we've got our limit here of x which is approximating to what to zero here something like that so this is what you're going to have and uh, as a fraction i think i explained from our previous class the way we have got something like that a fraction where i talked about the inverse of a fraction one over a certain fraction is one over one over two like this which gives us what two so it's one over this which is simply like two over one like the inverse of this fraction so this means if it is the inverse it's going to be or you're simply multiplying one times the inverse which is uh, sine 3x over 3 cos 3x like that which is just the inverse okay so this is going to be the limit sorry of y which is equal to the lean of y which is equal to the limit of x as it is going to approximate to zero there so this is going to be sine 3x let's just put it this way over uh, 3 cos 3x all right so take note here we've got something that is actually common uh, 3x and 3x which means this is a simple trick because we know that sine x if it is over cos x if these two are the same it is going to give us tan x so it means also here you've got the same thing sorry that's your lean here of y which is equal to the limit of x approximating to zero so like i said we can write this as a fraction or you can just simply test if this is going to give us a zero there but uh writing as a fraction is the best thing that you can actually write like i mean like tan just like tan okay but this is going to be tan 3x but this is 3x 3x but remember this is just like one over three because you've got something like this so it's just it's the one that you're focusing so we've got one over three that we have there's the sine over the cos is the one that gives us the tan 3x but we have got one over three so as x is going to approximate to zero let's see if we substitute a zero here tan 
turn that says zero guys turn is zero remember uh times a third so a third times a zero that's gonna be a zero there so that means lin y is equivalent to a zero so this is the value the numerical value that is representing the lin of what the lin of y so that was the first part that we had and uh, now determine the value of y which i explained previously that when you are given this it simply means hence it's a continuation guys hence determine the value of y so it's a continuation from this part that you obtained um from our previous part we obtained that lin y is equivalent to zero so what is the value of y remember i told you that lin it simply means the logarithm of that number in base of e all right so that means y here is equivalent to the base to the exponent of the answer so the base is e to the exponent of zero and we know that any number to the exponent of zero is what is one so y is going to be a one so that's it guys what about the 1.2 determine the limit as x approximate to infinity all right this one is going to be difficult for us to work with unless we have this as a as a fraction so because we know from our laws of exponents e to the exponent of minus x is what 1 over e to the exponent of x so times this x squared it is going to look like this uh, limit uh, as x approximates to or approaches to infinity it's going to be x squared over e to the exponent of x that's x squared over e to the exponent of x so if you're going to substitute infinity to yes we are it's you are increasing the infinite you're also increase so this will be infinite over infinity there so that means we can apply our l hospital rule again in this case so that's going to be the derivative so we're going to have something like this as x approximates to infinity the derivative of uh, x squared that's going to be 2x over the derivative of e to the exponent remember if it is e to the exponent of like that it just repeats but if you get something like uh, to the exponent of 2x that's where you're going to drop the exponent uh, it will be like this but this is just one so there's no effect actually so it's going to be a to the exponent of x where x is approximating what to infinity as you can see it's just two times infinity you are simply increasing the infinity so it's it will be still infinite and this will be still infinity like that so someone has to apply l hospital rule again in this case so that uh, at least it can seem to be much better uh, that's the derivative of 2x which is 2 e to the exponent of x like i said is going to remain as e to the exponent of x all right so if this is infinity this is there's nothing that you're going to substitute here so which means now we've got our exact value 2 over this from all this we said is infinite from all this we said is infinity so it's 2 over infinite and we said a constant over infinity approximates to what to zero so this is going to give us a zero at the at the end so simply like that guys and as you can see uh, that was actually seven marks for that yeah, for the all of the questions so uh, these are the typical marks that they they always like give uh, this type of a question so all you need is to be very very careful and so forth and as you can see we have another question again uh, determine the following limit uh, that is what we have 1 over x minus cosec x so as we can see there it's easier for us to work it as a fraction than what it is there so this is limit as x is approximate that's a zero there all right one over x minus cosec x we know that cosec is one over sine from our trig so this is one over sine x like this so you can actually add uh the two so this is going to be equal to limit as x approximates to zero there so we have to find lcd which is the lcm of x and sine x so that's x divided by this which is going to remain with sine x times one which is just sine x minus sine x and sine x will cancel which means you're going to remain with x but don't cancel just show that it'll okay don't show by canceling okay this is it guys when x is going to approximate to zero here as you can see sine zero is a zero so that's zero minus zero over zero times zero which is actually a zero so it's going to give us a zero over a zero and that's we have to apply our l hospital rule so because here it's a zero there so let's us let us find the derivative and i think it's direct here because it's simply the derivative of what the derivative of a sine x and we know that sine gives us what cos x minus the derivative of x which is one which is 
just like minus one so it's going to be minus one over this is a product so you have to apply our product rule uh, remember this is going to be your u and this will be your v so it depends with how you apply it uh, some you can just use uh, the first derivative of v u plus uh, this is going to be u uh, v so you can use u i don't know guys the way that you're going to write it is just one and the same thing uh, plus uh, this one is going to be u v so like some so it's just the way that you're going to put it i don't know how okay so let's just write it this way uh, our u in this case that's our x times the first derivative of v which is sine which is going to give us cos x plus our u now which is the first derivative of u which is going to give us one times sine which is in this case uh just sine x like that because it's just v which is just sine x like that okay so this is going to give us uh x that's x cos x plus sine x all right so let's see if we are going to win applying uh x which is zero there we know that cos zero is one so it's going to be one minus one which is a zero and we said uh, cos zero is a one so it's but this one you're multiplying by zero so it's zero minus zero plus zero which is a zero so this one is going to give another zero over zero guys as we can see and this means we have to apply again our derivative which is l hospital rule again and that will be the derivative of cos which gives us negative sign so it's negative sign x minus zero which is just a zero there over uh, this is uh, back to our product rule so we said u our u in this case that's x all right times the first derivative of v which is uh, this is your u and this is your v so cos is going to give us negative sine x the derivative there all right plus the first derivative of u which is uh, x is going to give us just one okay times v our v is cos x so it's going to be cos x like that plus you find the derivative of sine x so the derivative of sine x which is going to give us cos x in this case that's what that's what you're going to have as x approximates to, to a zero there so what do we have at the end so this is the question if we are to substitute a zero there what are we going to have guys um if we put a zero here it's going to be minus sine zero because sine is going to be a zero so it's going to give us a zero here and this one will be a zero and cos zero gives us we said cos zero gives us one so it's one here cos zero is a one so which means we can get something which is exact so we are not going to apply any l hospital rule we are just going to simplify further so on top we are going to obtain a zero here over in the denominator we say this one is a zero and this one is one and this one is one so one plus one which is going to give us what two and zero over to a zero over a constant gives us a zero so this one is going to give us a zero at the end not infinity but a zero okay so guys as you can see it was uh, actually yeah something that we had to play around and uh, play around and play around and until you obtain something that is exact and uh, that's how actually they ask these questions so you must be very very careful guys how you attempt these questions okay let's see the second part on 1.2 we are given again the same thing uh this time let's see if we are going to win uh so let's just try and apply our limits which is going to be pi here over three so if you substitute that's pi over three here is going to give us zero this one is a half so it's going to be half minus half which is zero over zero so definitely have to apply l hospital rule so that means to determine the value of lin y in this case uh, which is 1.21 1. lin y is going to be equivalent to the limit as our x approximates to what that's pi over 3 all right so we have to apply the derivative because this is 0 over 0 so what is the derivative of cos we know it's minus sine so this is minus sine x and this is a constant which is a 0 so there's nothing here over the derivative of x which is 1 so it's minus sine x over 1 minus 0 so this one is just a 0 so this is what you're going to obtain here guys so that means lin y is equal to as x approximates to pi over 3 here so if you substitute uh, sine minus sine pi over 3 we are going to obtain an exact value there which is a square root of 3 over 3 so it's going to be minus square root of 3 over 2 not 3 okay but over 1 so over 1 does not affect so this is our lin y guys uh, from this part 
our lean y is going to be minus square root of 3 over 3. So definitely on 1.2, they will now ask you to determine the value of y now. So like I told you guys, it's a continuation that you're simply going to take to say, uh, since we said uh, this represents what? This represents uh, the logarithm of y in base of e, which is equal to minus square root of 3 over 2. So it means our y in this case is a e to the exponent of what? Uh, the minus square root of 3 over 2 like this. So that would be the value of y that you're going to have. We're just going to give us something like 0, 0,4206, something like that. And that would be 421 if you round off to three decimal places. So these are actually some of the typical questions, guys, uh, that they can actually ask you. And uh, 1.3, which is to mark everything you're given to determine the value of x for which f of x is discontinuous. All right, it is discontinuous, and I told you, if this is discontinuous, it means the denominator is going to be equal to zero there for this, because remember, discontinuous, I told you guys, the fraction, the given number, the given term, the given expression, it is not exact. It's not exact, that is it. It's what? Undefined. So for this to be undefined, it means the denominator is equal to zero. That's the only way k over zero it's undefined as you see it gives us infinite it's only when your denominator is equal to zero that is for it to be discontinuous so it means x squared must be equal to zero so to find x simply the square root okay so that is um it to remove the square the square introduce the square root both sides so your x is going to be a zero the square root of a zero guys is just a zero okay can we write it plus or minus no 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 guys we just know that the square root of zero is what it's a zero like that. So guys, these are some of the typical approaches that you must have when attempting these typical questions. So we shall meet again, guys, working on more questions, more revisions on these typical questions for Mason African Motives till we meet again.